The Gator baseball season just around the corner. Here to talk to us about it is the Gator head coach, Kevin O'Sullivan. Sully, welcome. Thank you for doing this. Uh, as you get ready for the start of the season, tell me about your club. What do you see? Well, we got a lot of returners. Obviously, we get back BT behind the plate and, and Jack at first. We got Colby and Josh and, and obviously White and left and Ty and right. So, um, you know, from the position, stairs, uh, position player standpoint, we, we feel pretty good about our depth. And from a pitching standpoint, you know, we didn't expect to get back, you know, Brandon Sproat after being drafted in the third round by the Mets, but we're excited about that. And adding Hurston Waldrop, obviously, is a huge addition to our pitching staff. When you look at some of the young faces, fans always want to know about the newcomers. What do you see with them? Well, I, I, Cade Curlin's had a really good fall in preseason. He plays uh, second base. And then um, from the pitching side of things, we've got um, uh, Cade Fisher. He's, he, he's certainly going to be a name that we're going to remember here for a long time. And then, and then Uel Tahad has been throwing the ball really good. We all know what can change, what day one starting lineup and day one pitching rotation maybe isn't the same at the end, but today, what would your weekend rotation look like? Oh, right now, we're going to go uh, Brandon on Friday, you know, Hurston on Saturday, and um, Jack Caglino on Sunday. Cags, yeah. talk to me about him because he's really made some progress. He has. I mean, he's got a special arm. Obviously, he's proven that he could hit in our league, so he's going to be a really special two-way player for us. You know, and in the back end of the bullpen, we've got some options. You know, Blake Purnell has really improved from last year, coming off a freshman all-American season and then you know we're going to tinker with the idea of maybe using Brandon Neely at the back end as well and like I mentioned Kate Kate Fisher a freshman he'd be really good against left-handers late in the game. You know there's sometimes freshmen come in you have to use them they take their lumps a little bit but they've got a profit from a lot of experience last year right? There's no question you know we were very young last year and I think that's what was was a little bit of our issues early on you know until we started you know um, I think we finished nine and three our last 12 conference games but um, they they have grown up Ryan Slater's a year better like I said we talked about Blake um, you know why it's kind of picked up where he's left off we were just looking at the stats this morning he finished the preseason here hitting 500 with a you know OPS of like a 1-5 so um, you know my, I think Michael Robertson is going to be somebody else who's going to probably you know he'll open the season in center field and hopefully lead off for us so um, yeah, we, you know, we, we, we feel good about where we're at, but certainly there's, there's been a lot of growth since last year. The SEC, I mean, in one poll, there's seven SEC teams in the top ten. That's kind of ridiculous, but that's kind of the way it is. It's just part of it. You know, there's, there's a reason why our league's the best in the country year in and year out. And um, I've always said, and, and you could probably go back over the archives, I see the same thing every year. It's, it's not who you play in this league, it's when you play them. You know, how is how's the opposing team? health-wise at that certain point, how are they playing as a club? So, yeah, from top to bottom, it's certainly going to be, you know, very challenging for us, but it's going to be no different than any other year. I can remember you being introduced here as the coach all those years ago, and you've had a lot of success here, but are you different now than you were when you first came here? And if so, how so? Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm a lot more patient, to be honest with you. I mean, I feel like... Um, we, we have a much better grasp on the whole process. Um, certainly those, those years we went to the World Series in 10, 11, and 12 were certainly, you know, new experiences for me as well as a head coach. You know, I had gone a few times when I was at Clemson as an assistant, but each time you go, you kind of learn different things. And um, yeah, I think, I think I've, had a, I've got a much better perspective on self-evaluation when the season's over and what can we do differently, even though we've been here 15 years. What can we do differently to make ourselves, you know, put ourselves in a better position to be, you know, more successful in the postseason? You know, we haven't been back to Omaha since 2018, so that's certainly the goal. I've never asked you this in all these years. Do you sit down with each team and set a goal at the start of the year? Does the club do that? How does that work? No, no. We Our, our goal every year, and I, you know, players know when they come into this program, is to get to Omaha and play for a national championship. And that's, you know, but, you know, we're, we're starting our season on Friday night. You know, we're going to play 56 regular season games. And... Um, we've got to get better just like everybody else throughout the season and, and the whole goal is to hopefully play well at the end of the year But if you start putting too much pressure in my opinion Well, it's it's Omaha or bust then the players are going to feel that you know as well And they'll feel that pressure and, and if you do that in my opinion They won't give themselves a chance to relax and just go out and play last thing you had you mentioned some of the guys that came back the, the Rivera's of the world the Colby Halters that's got to help your team they've been through everything they've been here a long time I would imagine that helps team chemistry and helps the young guys know what to expect there's no question there's no question um, and one of the other things that what we haven't done um, very often is named team captains and that type of thing you know you really don't know the real makeup of your club until you go through some adversity which every team is going to go through it regardless of how 
successful they are during the regular season, there's going to be some ups and downs. And when, when you do hit those, those bumps in the road, so to speak, your leaders do rise at that point. And, and, and I, I do feel good about the chemistry of our team, but quite honestly, you know, the, the, real, the real chemistry is going to be shown when we, when we go through our you know, struggles. You excited to get going here? Yeah, this is year 16. Is, I'm, I'm as excited this year as I was, you know, since the first year. So, yeah, we're excited. Um, the weather looks like it's going to be really good this weekend, and um, we're, I know everybody's chopping at the bit to play somebody else. Okay, and that's going to happen this weekend as the Gators open up their season. Our pleasure to talk to Gator baseball coach Kevin O'Sullivan. Thanks, Sully. Thanks, Steve.